I thought I would do a little video review of the terrain I used for the, this recent session. My recap video was running long, so I didn't really dive into the terrain. So I figured for folks that are interested, I would do a, a little recap. So let's start at the top. Um, tower, Dwarven Forge. Uh, this part here actually is uh, from a Games Workshop piece. Uh, to another tower that they have. I don't know if you can still get it. Uh, I have the tower. I've never, this is the only part of it that I've painted. So <laughs> I got to paint the rest of it. Uh, terrain trees are Dwarven Forge as well. Uh, these trees are Monster Fight Club. I just got these actually. I, I wanted some winter trees and I was going to make some, but then I like to buy stuff. So <laughs> I, uh, I bought, they, and they had a good deal on these uh, on Amazon. These are double boxes of the trees and I had a gift card that I'd gotten um, for Father's Day to Amazon so I bought two boxes of these so these are two boxes of double trees from Amazon uh, the uh, the Monster Fight Club their new winter stuff it, it, they're on uh, two foot by two foot plexiglass sheets I got this idea with the glass uh, these plastic cups as risers I got this idea from uh, Todd Michael Putnam uh, he has a great YouTube and Facebook page with um, creative table builds, and he's really the master of that stuff. And I like, I needed to, I wanted to add more elevation to my builds, and I saw how Todd did that, and uh, really liked it. So I picked up some of that stuff to use. Same thing here, uh, Dwarven Forge. The bit pieces are some 3D printed terrain that one of my players gave me. He bought it and then realized he was never going to paint it or use it, so uh, he gave it to me, and uh, which I was grateful for. And I uh, painted it up, and it's nice. I don't I used to just throw the rooms down, but it got kind of boring because there was no filler. So started getting stuff to actually place in the rooms. I didn't use a lot of it here, but I used that. Um, I didn't talk about it in the video, but this was a secret room. I did mention it, but like at first, this wasn't even on the map. So when they found the door like when they originally it was like this and then I put this on a small terrain tray so when they found the uh, the room then I could add it so there was no giveaway at all they had no idea there was a door there until they actually started looking um, this is all Dwarven Forge cavern stuff uh, on top of Dwarven Forge terrain trays I get it on a uh, two foot by two foot sheet of MDF just to make it so I could move the whole thing easier because um, I had to store this for a while before I actually got to play it. Uh, miniatures. This is uh, WizKids. Black Dragon. Uh, young, I guess. Or adult. I don't remember the age category they used. But uh, I painted that. I got all the uh, chromatic ones painted. Um, this is a th uh, pre-painted miniature of Moloch from WizKids. I always thought this miniature was really cool. And probably will never actually drop. Well, maybe. I can't never say never, but... The odds of me actually dropping Moloch on the table are right now pretty slim. So it was cool to, when my friend Brian cast the illusion spell in the uh, image of Moloch that I was actually able to drop the miniature on the table. They thought that was pretty neat. Um, miniatures, you know, Lorik, you've seen him. Uh, this is Horan Silverax, who my friend Brendan played. This is a Reaper miniature I painted. Uh, pretty cool miniature. It's a metal miniature. Bink Thistleberry. Um, another Reaper, this is a Reaper Bones miniature that I painted. This lighting isn't the best, I apologize. Uh, Perrin Delano, this is, uh, this is another Reaper miniature that I painted and modified. Like, he comes with a very different sword. And this is a Games Workshop sword that I put in his hand. And if I ever play a Human Paladin, I will probably use this miniature because I really like that one. Uh, that's, uh, the, the miniature itself is uh, from Reaper. It's a stern stern Prestelman miniature one of those really cool but um yeah that's the terrain uh, some of it had the led pieces which we lit up for the rooms um the way this build originally sat or way it should have sat um this piece with the tower and everything would have been directly above this this first level of the dungeon but um to make my life logistically a little bit easier we it was kind of over it like half over it so it worked out fine I, I like using this stuff and the raising the board up a little bit to, so it isn't just flat i think that's really adds quite a bit to uh, a build so yeah that's the train for this and thanks for watching